Ludwig Kaiser. I'm just, I feel like every week that's just like Imperium on something about Imperium. But this week, it's just, I'm excited. Gunther's back. He's not a part timer to those of you who tried to say he was. He did. They did. Um, shout out, Vinny. Um, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I just like the current direction that they're going in with him, and I feel like it makes more sense. It's literally what I've been begging for, to have them be more dominant and visceral and just, like, more similar to how Gunther has been in the past. Mm -hmm. So I'm just excited, and it's it's unfortunate that it feels like it may be only be happening because of Vinci's injury. Uh, but I would mm -hmm. like to believe that maybe if Vinci was there, that this was the original plan anyway, that they were going mm -hmm. to try and do something like this. Obviously, it was shifted a bit because um, Kaiser took out Kofi because of him taking out oh. Vinci. But uh, yeah, I, I'm hopeful. I'm trying to be hopeful and optimistic Good. about this. I'm trying. Um, I, I'll be that way until he proves that I shouldn't be. Um, because I think this is what has been needed for Imperium. So, um, yeah, I'm excited because people are finally seeing how good Kaiser is individually. Is, is optimism something we're trying in 2024, Sarah? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I mean, I guess with certain things. Because uh, you're optimistic about this. We like that. We like optimism here. Well, and my entire existence in Patriots world is generally optimistic. It's just my regular day-to-day -day life about, you know, dying alone. Yeah. That is difficult to be <laughs> optimistic about. I'm, I'm in about. that boat with you as well. Oh, I, I think about dying alone all the time. So that's yeah. where, where we're not really so optimistic. But Yeah, no, so I'm going to try to be optimistic about this because I like what they're doing right now, but it's been one week. You know, with well, with Gunther, yeah, it's been like three weeks with Kaiser, but um, Triple H has done this to me before, so I don't want to like get too excited. And then next week, I'm just like, what the hell? Like, what is this? You know, what are we so, doing? I, yeah. I like this direction that Imperium is going in, specifically Kaiser, because it, for a while it felt like they were just fake tough guys, other mm -hmm. than Gunther, obviously, but like the other two, yeah. They, just because they were the henchmen that get beaten down. I mean, yeah. in every superhero movie or, you know, it, they just felt like, to compare it to Star Wars, they just felt like a droid or druid, whatever they're called, uh, or a stormtrooper that just, mm. you know, they just are part of the, you know, they're going to die at the end or not going to make it. But now you actually see some aggression, some life in them, um, you know, as brutal as it was when he took out Kofi with that, uh, was it yeah like a drop kick to the dome off the stairs yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was a new side that i liked and that's what imperium i i feel like is based on is you know i would say a wwe version of the blackpool combat club where it's you know they're that's they're fighters they're wrestlers they don't do sports entertainment but there's a little bit of flair there with them so um yeah it's it's like because you want to kind of see them as um, I can't remember his name and it's my but the the Russian in Rocky Four. Oh, like, Drago! Drago! Oh my God, he was so hot. <sighs> Even though he was, yeah, he's could... kind of still hot and he's seventy something. But <laughs> he's he could... oh yeah, he was seventy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but that's like more of the direction you kind of want them to go in because mm -hmm. even if it is a little bit stereotypical because it's like, Oh yeah, they're like Eastern European, you know, whatever. But it's like, go with that. It's not like they haven't gone with stereotypes in the past or still do, you know? And it's like, go in that direction of them being like scary, violent dudes. Like that's how it should be because otherwise it just feels like, you're wasting the potential of them as a group, especially if like the long-term plans are to eventually break them up and either have it be Gunther and then a tag team or mm -hmm. all individual. It's like, you want them to have that established toughness, you know, and not right. just break up. And then it's like, Oh yeah, whatever. Like, no, take advantage of this being like such a good group and how much they've improved and make them be more of a dominant, scary group. That's what I they want. Make them, it, it, and it'd be a different form of dominant than Judgment Day. Yes. You know what I mean? they, it, it would be. 
it would be more like the yeah because with judgment day it's like being dominant by like doing whatever you got to do to like benefit yourself yeah. so you take people out but like this would be like no they don't really do the cheating and stuff it's like they dominate the shit out of you in the ring and they'll make mm -hmm. you pay for disrespecting them or whatever mm -hmm. so that i feel like they don't really have that right now so have them they do don't. that they don't and we need to see it yes uh, i definitely agree that we need to see it